guys, welcome to this week's uh, Friday Waffle, it being the very, very last waffle of 2021. So how are you? I hope you all had a nice Christmas. Um, it actually feels a bit weird sitting underneath, sitting underneath, sitting behind a camera, um, because I can't actually recall the last time I've done a, a sort of pre-recorded waffle. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all, I hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to really be talking about video games um, in this waffle, but you're probably used to that by now, to be fair. Um, I just want to give you a kind of a wee recap of kind of what I've been up to and what I'm planning to do uh, next year, um, including what I'm going to be doing with the channel. So Christmas, um, yeah, I mean, I had a nice Christmas day, um, I was at my girlfriend's, I had, I had uh, Eva was here in the morning, opened her presents and then I went through to, to my girlfriend's house for my dinner, which was nice, she had uh, her brother and her sister and her two sons as well, so that was nice. Um, Boxing day and the last couple of days. Now, if, I don't know if you watched my uh, live stream that I did with Lone Boys Post, um, the, the, the Christmas one. You're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, you've just done that, and then you've seen this. Now, let, let me, let me uh, explain. Christmas, as a kid, was easily one of the best things in my life. It was a happy, happy time. I mean, I was really blessed. I was very, very fortunate to have a happy, happy childhood and part of that was Christmas. You know, absolutely no arguments there at all. Christmas was a really, it was a happy time for me as a kid. But I think, you know, my life now is completely changed. Um, you probably know, you know, I love him more now, well my daughter's loving with me just now. Um, <clears throat> But Christmas for me has changed, it's changed an awful lot. Um, I used to hear people, people would say to me, oh, we're going to uh, Mallorca for two weeks, we're going to, you know, have Christmas in the sun. And I could never understand why somebody would want to do that. You know, why would somebody want to take themselves away from Christmas in the UK? But you know what, I completely understand why people do that now. Um, for me, as much as Christmas Day is is fine, that's that's it's a nice day. There is so much hype, and Christmas literally does seem to get earlier and earlier every single year. I mean, you're talking from probably all right, middle of September, October time. It's Christmas. You're getting Christmas adverts rammed down your throat. You've got all the the aftershave, all the, you know, up their own backside, um, aftershave adverts with bloody, what do you call them, uh, Johnny Depp and what have you, um, and the, 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 you know, the shops are stowed with Christmas gifts, and that's fine, you know, whatever, but if that's what they want to do, but I think when you're working, you don't really, you don't get a chance to, to, like, savour the, the Christmas build up. So for me, Christmas never really started until uh, Christmas Eve. I tell a lie, it was off Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, that was a Friday. So Christmas never really got started until the day before. And then you've got the day itself, and then it's just back to normal with a bump. And like I say, living on my own, I mean, I know I keep saying I live more my daughter lives with me, but she largely stays up in her bedroom. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's... Personally, I got... I actually got quite down. I felt quite down. Um, I was meant to be, but well, I'm technically in holiday, but I was getting phone calls about my work, and which was kind of annoying me because you're, you're trying to... Uh, you're trying to switch off. Um, you're, you're on holiday, so when you're getting that, it is a wee bit kind of irritating. You know, it is what it is. 
But uh, yeah, I just I got actually quite down in the dumps. I was feeling pretty low on uh, whatever day it was, not yesterday, the day before. Um, yesterday I went through to see my girlfriend. Um, we went. What did we do? We went to went for a coffee. Then we went to did a bit of shopping. Just went to Marks and Spencers. We got some food for tomorrow. And lo and behold, um, she wasn't feeling that great yesterday. And uh, she did a, a, a lateral flow test, and it was negative. And I mean, I've been doing lateral flow tests every day. And then she called me this morning to say she'd done a lateral flow and it was positive. So she's done a second lateral flow and it's positive as well and she's feeling like shit. Now, I've done three lateral uh, flows today, um, all been negative. I managed to get a PCR done today as well. Um, so I'm ho- hopefully I'll get the result of that tomorrow. I'm hoping that's going to be negative. But, you know, for, for me personally, um, it means that the next, it means that the next four days, whilst I'm on holiday, they're just going to be spent in the house doing absolutely nothing. And this sounds weird, but in some ways I'm actually, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as to say I'm looking forward, but in some ways I'm actually, I'll be kind of glad just to get back to work and just kind of get back to normal. So yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted because I was looking forward to spending the next couple of days with my girlfriend and I'm not going to really do that. So like millions of other people, I'm going to really be spending it on my own. Um, there you go. <laughs> Please don't think this is a sympathy, uh, a sympathy video. I don't. I know it's been doom and gloom since I've started waffling um, in the last 10 minutes. But yeah, I can't honestly say this year has not been, hasn't been great, you know, Christmas wise. Um, anyway. Let's move on. Um, gaming wise, what have I been doing? I have been, uh, I have been playing quite a lot of my, my Xbox Series X. I mean, I managed to pick up one. Um, got it for normal price um, about a month ago. I've been playing. Uh, what have I been playing? I've been downloading a lot of games. I've got the Game Pass thing, so you get all these kind of games for free. I think you can they have them available for so long, and then they'll kind of disappear. So oh, I've been playing, I've been playing some Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5, um, but I'll tell you, the one, the one game, or it's not even a game technically, it's called An Experience, which uh, Lone Boy's post uh, 1975, he told me to play, and it's uh, The Matrix, The Matrix Experience, and uh, wow, <laughs> It's, I think it's 20 gig, 20, 30 gig, I was going to say it's not a big game, I mean 20, 30 gig a couple of years ago would be classed as a massive game, but imagine, uh, imagine Grand Theft Auto 5, it's like that, it's not a game, you are in this city, now the city is uh, it's an island, so you can go so far and then you kind of hit the invisible brick wall. But you're in this city and there's people all walking about doing their kind of everyday stuff. There's cars, there's lorries, buses, all driving about. So it's a it's a kind of living city, and all you can do is walk about. You can either walk about. You can jump in any parked car. You can't do it Grand Theft Auto still. You can't basically get somebody, drag them out uh, and then steal their car. You can't do that. Um, you can drive any car that's parked. And you can also fly, basically like, like a drone. And what makes what makes the game, the game, what makes the game or the experience kind of mind-blowing to me is the graphics. The graphics are seriously good. I mean, I think it's 4K. The detail on things like the road and, you know, just the detail and everything is incredible. But here's the bit that really blows my mind. If you go up in the drone and you, you basically are flying high above, I don't know what the site's called, you can pick a building, pick a skyscraper, you know, miles away, you can fly to the skyscraper, you can look in the windows, that's the thing, you can't go inside buildings by the way, you can look inside 
and they're all kind of decked out like offices, you've got photocopiers, desks, uh, juice machines, things like that. But you can like fly to the very, very top of a skyscraper and there'll be like various like satellites and aerials and the detail and like even bits of a building is just phenomenal. I mean, you've got rust and it's just, honestly, it is absolutely mind-blowing. I keep going on about how, you know, get going from like the C64 to the Atari ST was a massive jump. Going from the ST to Amiga was a massive jump. Going to the PC with uh, your Voodoo uh, 3D FX graphics card was a massive jump. Then you got to like the PlayStation, it was a slightly bigger jump. And then since the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, the jump has been less and less and less. And with that, the kind of wow factor has been less and less. So, uh, yeah, I've not really played a game or seen anything in the last, probably, I don't know, probably the last maybe 15 years that's made me go... Wow, this is the future. Well, trust me, this Matrix uh, experience is mind blowing. It uh, really, really is. I've spent quite a lot of time just walking about, walking about the the, the city. You can fly about. You can drive cars. Um, quite good fun, just smashing cars up. So yeah, that is that's. I've been kind of playing about that. Another game that I've been playing on my Xbox X Series X uh, is Doom. Not Doom Quake. The original Quake. Um, that's the thing about being a, a kind of old, an old-fashioned uh, antique like myself. You get these uh, state-of-the-art consoles, and then you just load up. You load up really old games. So I've been playing Quake. I mean, it's the graphics. I wouldn't really say they've. I, I wouldn't say they've really improved them at all over the original. I mean, they're probably higher res. It does run, I don't know, it runs really fast, silky smooth, it's probably 60 frames per second. Uh, but it's a great game, yeah, the graphics up close do look a bit shit, but it's a great, you know, a good game is a good game. So I've been enjoying that. Only I will say one thing, when I was, uh, when I was deciding whether to get the Xbox Series X or the, the PlayStation 5, the reason I went for the Xbox was because you get all these games for kind of not a lot of money. But the thing that I've kind of found, there's not really been many games that I would say, wow, look at this, this is an Xbox Series X game, it looks incredible. Um, I mean, I went to, where did I go? I went to game um, a couple of days ago and I said to the guy, where's your Xbox Series X games? And he went, oh, they're just on that side there. And I said, but they're all Xbox One. He says, no, what you need to do, mate, he said, you need to look at the top and it will say Xbox One, you know, for Series X or Series S Xbox. He says, so they're kind of being refined for the, the more powerful consoles. Which is fine, but what I like about the PlayStation 5, I don't have one, is the fact that there are specific PlayStation 5 games coming out so you know if you buy it this is a game, this is a next gen game the flip side of that is you're going to be forking out 40, 50 quid um, for a game so do I regret getting the Xbox Series X? No, but I'm looking forward to actually hopefully seeing games that really do um, really do kind of do it justice make me realise that I've bought something pretty special um, but like I said, that Matrix Revolution uh, Revolution experience thing is uh, is impressive. It really is. If you've got a Series S or I don't think it's out for the Xbox One, but if you've got a Series S or a Series X, go and grab it. It's completely free. Um, yeah, this will give you a little kind of a little uh, sniff and sniff. This will give you a kind of preview into just how powerful the, the Xbox uh, Series X is. It is mightily impressive. So that's kind of been that. Um, I did get a few X, not Xbox, I did get a few 4K films for my Christmas. 
So I've watched a few. What did I watch? I, I got uh, Godzilla vs Kong. Watched that. That is impressive. Maybe not the greatest film in the world. I mean, it's an easy to watch kind of action set piece type thing. Um, but the graphics, the visuals are incredible. Uh, what else have I watched? I watched Star Wars, the original Star Wars Episode 4, um, A New Hope. Enjoyed it. The only slight thing, and probably every kind of Star Wars fan says the same thing, is you've got the original Star Wars, but then they've managed to shoehorn in kind of new bits, and they really stick out like a sore thumb. You know, the original Star Wars does look good. I mean, uh, I don't know, it'll not be in 4K, I wouldn't think. Because, I mean, we're talking about a 1977 film, so whatever that is, 35 years old, something like that. Um, so, yeah, you can tell the original footage, but then you've got these CGI sections that have been kind of put in, which kind of break it up slightly. I think I would prefer that if they just left these out, but I know every Star Wars fan kind of says the same thing. Watched that, I watched uh, Forrest Gump on 4K again, that is pretty impressive. And did I watch anything else? I don't think so, I think I've watched the three in total. Um, so that's kind of been, that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, not been doing much else, apart from kind of moping around and generally feeling sorry for myself. Um, so anyway, right, the channel. Now anyone that's uh, familiar with my channel that's been watching it for a while will know that quite a big part of what I do are live streams. Um, I mean I've been doing live streams now for probably about three years, maybe slightly more. Um, one of which is uh, the Sunday live stream, it usually comes out on a Sunday 7 o'clock till 9. And uh, I do enjoy them. But if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I'm actually getting a bit bored of them. I'm getting bored of doing the same thing because when I started doing YouTube, it was about, I mean, streaming wasn't a thing. It was about giving me the opportunity to try and be creative because, you know, video games are a massive part of my life. I love talking about them. I probably like talking about them more than I actually enjoy playing them. And... I love the fact that YouTube was giving me this opportunity, this outlet to like make content, to basically make my own TV programs. Um, and I've really enjoyed doing that. Now over the last, ironically, since I've kind of um, been living on my own, technically I would say I had more time. But I think I'm more, uh, I'm more sort of selfish in my time now. And so getting the time to make videos hasn't been easy. And it's been far too easy for me just to think, ah, I'll just do a live stream tonight, I'll just do a live stream. Hence the reason I've been doing, you know, I don't know how many, the last probably 10 waffles have all been uh, have all been live. You know, I do enjoy, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the interactivity of doing a live waffle. I enjoy it, especially when I've got a mate taking part in it, somebody to kind of talk to. I mean, it's nice talking to people on a stream, but, you know, you don't get the, the same, obviously, you kind of bounce off somebody the same way as you can if they're actually um, taking part in it. But another part, and I'm going to get it out here, is uh, a certain game, a certain uh, mining game by an oriental person, China miner. Um, that was a, that became an integral part of uh, my Sunday streams. You know, I would always finish playing China Miner. Um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But then about, I don't know, three, four months ago, um, a person started watching the channel. And uh, very generously, he was giving me money and he kept asking for this game over and over again. And initially, I was kind of saying, right, okay, that's fine. And he was asking, he was asking me, even in like live waffles, can you play China Miner, can you play China Miner? And he was giving me £10, £20 sometimes to play the game. And I kept saying, look, please don't do this. I'm not playing the game. This is not a game playing video. Um, and so unfortunately, I ended up having to block him. I had to block him on my channel because it was just getting ridiculous. Um, I mean, to try and, to try and like put an end to it, 
I was uh, I actually I did a, a one off special I, I played China Minor for an hour and a half with the intention of that being a thank you to this person because they'd given me quite a bit of money which you know I was eternally grateful for and this was me basically putting an end to it this was me trying to pay this person back playing the game for an hour and a half and then I didn't want to hear the game mentioned I didn't want to anyone to talk about it I certainly didn't want anyone to ask ask me to play it because I'm not going to play it again and the stupid thing was the person that I made the video for didn't even tune in so I don't know what was going on there I don't know if it's some sort of just playing games whatever and then at the next live video this person turned up under a different username but it was evident who it was and he was asking for the game so reluctantly I had to block him I mean I've never ever heard of anybody blocking somebody who actually gives money because if I'm being brutally honest I don't not many people donate to the channel um, which is a wee bit disappointing because I have made it clear that you know I do have outgoings every month um, and you know it would be nice anyone that wants to give me something towards the channel it's appreciated there is no pressure on people to do it but I have to say other than this one person who's, who's no longer on the channel there's very very few people have actually done anything so yeah I've kind of I've kind of bitten off my nose to spite my face with uh, banning this person but it wasn't about the money it was about the fact that this person was just he was just keeping this whole thing going and personally I've just become utterly, utterly fed up of it. So with that in mind, that plus when I'm when I'm doing a live stream, playing games in a live stream, there is no I don't get to design anything, there's no creativity of any kind. It is me just in front of behind a camera in front of a camera? Behind a camera? I don't know what one it is. Um, and people ask me to play games there's no there's no skill involved yeah there's skill involved in playing the games but for me personally other than the interaction with the people in the chat it's become it's become dull I have I have literally got bored of doing these live streams so what I'm planning to do is I'm not going to be doing a Sunday live stream every week um, at the very very most it will be every fortnight, every two weeks I still reserve the right if I decide one night you know what, I'm going to do a live stream tonight and I will put it out there I'll post on, on, on uh, Facebook whatever, but yeah the, the Sunday streams are going to stop being weekly, they're going to go back to being maybe, back sorry, they're going to go to every fortnight um, but I will put a wee post up on YouTube and in uh, Facebook as well if I'm going to be doing that I'm also going to uh, try and stop the live the live Friday waffles um, I just I don't know I just think I just feel I've got to kind of get back to why I was doing YouTube because as I've always maintained when something when a hobby becomes a chore when you don't enjoy it then that's the time to kind of stop it and right now I I honestly have lost quite a bit of interest in YouTube um, it's probably down to the fact that we have been feeling over the last couple of weeks you know I've been kind of touching on um, things so that's kind of where I am guys uh, the channel's not going anywhere I'm still going to be putting out videos I am going to try and go back to making videos again the old fashioned kind of style I might even start to uh, I might even start, no, I think I've never done is a game review. I might actually start doing game reviews because the problem with a lot of the videos that I've made in the past is they take hours and hours and hours and hours to film, to edit, to put the voiceovers and all this kind of bollocks. And that in itself has kind of stopped me doing stuff. So perhaps if I can start doing like kind of video reviews, um, on top of all the usual stuff that I do that I keep perfect my arse is the 8-bit face off excuse me face off good fuck um, that's the plan I will still be making content but I am going to kind of cut back quite a bit in the live streams 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I've really got to say to quote for us, Gump. That's all I've really got to say about that. Um, <laughs> however, um, because I've been feeling a bit pissed off over the last couple of days, it's hug my knee. You know, it's New Year tonight. It's going to be New Year in about I don't know about six, seven hours time, whatever it is. And uh, I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to? I'll probably just sit and play Quake. My daughter will be upstairs. I'll be in here myself. And then I'll go to my bed. Now, I know a few of my friends are kind of feeling in the same way as I'm feeling. They don't, they're not a fan of Christmas. They're not a fan of New Year. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do a live stream. There's going to be no agenda. There's not going to be any... Well, you know what? I might play some games. I don't know. I'll just, I'm just going to wing it. It's basically going to get a little get together um, with you guys. I'm going to start at eleven o'clock tonight. Um, I'll keep it going until after after the bells, which is uh, midnight, and just kind of see how we go from there. Um, I was actually Panther UK had actually invited me um, to do a, a collab video with him and Lacosa, and I was meant to be doing it yesterday, and. You know what, just the way I was feeling yesterday, I was feeling really pretty pissed off and just, and I, I messaged Panther, in fact I, I messaged him the day before to be fair, it wasn't the day, that, um, it wasn't the same day, it was the day before, I was just feeling really, really, really down in the dumps on uh, what day would it be, Wednesday, and I says, listen mate, I says, I'm going to, I'm going to have to kind of take a rain check, just the way I was feeling because to do a live stream um, with people, you've got to be, you've got to go in your game, you've got to be in a happy mood. And on uh, Wednesday, I was just feeling pretty low, um, and I, I thought, nah, that's not the right kind of frame of mind to do it. So, like I said, I, I cancelled it. Um, fortunately, the, the two lads went ahead and did the video, um, so hopefully, I'll be coming out in Panthers' uh, channel in the next kind of few days, maybe next week. Um, I will be getting back with these two guys. I've I've not made a video with Lacosa and Chris for a long time, and uh, I am looking forward to kind of getting back and recording stuff with them again. So apologies to to Lacosa and uh, Chris for uh, for Kenny letting you down a couple of days ago. They're probably thinking, well, how come you're fine now? Well, that's what kind of happens. Uh, fortunately, I don't I don't think I'm the type of person that gets depressed as such, but I do like everybody else. I do get low from time to time, and like I say, it's Wednesday, I don't know what it was, it was a combination of my work, it was a combination of just everything that was kind of going on, um, and I just, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to do it, so yeah, like I said, guys, I'm going to be along tonight um, at 11 o'clock, there's no agenda, if, you're, if you've got bugger all else on, please tune in, you will have a bit of a laugh. You know, we'll just see see where things take us uh, takes us, guys. So listen, because this is the last video of this year, I just want to kind of finish up and say thanks to all the support, every single person that has watched my videos, that's liked my videos, that's even down thumbed my videos, that's commented. Especially big thanks to anyone that's uh, that's donated, helped you know, helped towards the kind of upkeep of the channel. That's always been uh, appreciated. It really has. Um, and as I keep saying, guys, before, if nobody watched my videos, I simply wouldn't be doing this. You know, that that's the bottom line. So, um, yeah, listen, I just want to wish every single person all the very best for 2022. Hopefully it's going to be a better year than this year because we said that last year, and this year, I think, I think it's fair to say it's been pretty shit, and I, for one, cannot wait for it to uh, do one and bring in the new year. So anyway guys, listen, thanks again for all your support and have an excellent and happy new year when it comes. Okay, as always guys, thank you very much for watching.